Hi, do you feel like making a butterfly with me? I'm using my homemade play clay and I've got the blue out. I'm going to section out my wings, patty cake that out. And here's another one. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of had a lump of clay in my hand already and I just ripped it in half so that each of the upper wings can be similar in size. And now this will be for the bottom wings. And I ripped it in half. You can always roll it around in your hands to soften in those bumpy edges. And then patty cake it out. Roll it around. And I always like to V my hands, roll them back and forth, and then patty cake it out. It gives you such a nice shape. So sweet. I made some green plate clay today. It was a little dry at first, but then I set it in a container with the lid on for a while, and now it's easy to work with, so I'm liking that. So we'll do the abdomen. Did you see how I squeeze that out? And then we need to decorate the wings. That's a fun thing about a butterfly. All butterflies can look different from each other, and you can decide whatever colors you want to do and use and decorate in different shapes. So right now I'm going to make little swirls that'll represent those fake eyes that the wings are supposed to portray to scare off um, any predators. There we go. Maybe some little round beads around them too. Roll those out in my fingertips and press them on gently. And like I've said before, I always take my colors apart and put them back in the containers because I like to use the clay again and make something different. So I don't mash them together and smear them together because I like that they can come apart and be used for another time, for another creative day. Just thinking of different designs to put on. So now I'll decorate the bottom a little bit, maybe shape that into more of a triangle. Make that the same as what I just did, kind of pressing it flat. And do you see how sweet that triangle is when you put your fingers together? So you can use that in different sizes for different things. Maybe some more beads. around in your fingertips to round in those edges. Always grab similar amounts of clay when you're making things uh, uniform and in a pattern. And then I saved a little bit of my blue because I want to make some antennas. Sometimes my eyes don't stick unless I press them a little bit. So I'll put a little eyeball on and press it and press it. All right. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you don't or haven't seen the recipe for the play clay, it's in at the bottom of this video under more. Thanks for watching.